The Great Blizz program has a motto of no hockey player left behind. And that's what we do. We have players on our team that have cognitive, intellectual, and developmental disabilities. They can't play for any other team. And they have a home with us. Our mission is to um, have a learn to skate for some players uh, and then learn to play hockey and then take those uh, players and put them in hockey games and travel around the state and around the country playing other special hockey teams. So years and years ago, um, a lot of the retired Boston Bruins hockey players wanted to continue playing hockey, but they also wanted to continue to benefit their community. So they put together a pool of players, uh, retired players, and they come out and play um, other organizations as a fundraiser for their charities. Uh, we've been working with the Boston Bruins alumni team since February of 2020, and this will be our very fifth game uh, here. So the Bruins will put a team together of 16 players, of uh, former stars that you probably watched and uh, cheered on on the ice. And then we put up a, a group of regionally really solid hockey players uh, that help fundraise for us and then play against the Bruins in like a once in a lifetime opportunity to actually you know, be on the same ice and play against the stars that they grew up cheering for as well. The event, uh, the Bruins alumni event is, is a real big event. Uh, we have local uh, singers doing the national anthem. Uh, we'll have some check presentations, but the real uh, exciting part for our fans is at halftime we put out our special players and they uh, play a scrimmage against each other. So everybody in the rink can see the work that we've done and it's big time pride for our coaches and our assistant coaches who have been spending uh, all this time every week, week in and week out, uh, trying to get our players to the point where they can play as a hockey team. The Bruins alumni game will take place right here where we're standing. <laughs> Uh, two weeks from Sunday, uh, it's January 29th, 1 to 3 p.m. at the Bog uh, in Kingston.